How is it going, Hilo High School? Today we have Keala from KWXX in the house. We'd like to call him up, and he'll be our MC for today's program. Uncle Keala. Hello, how you guys doing? You guys all right, Hilo? Vikings in the house. All right, let's get this started. They told me that uh, we got a lot of stuff to do in this small break, so we'll try and get it done as quickly as possible. So I'd like to welcome everybody. We're here today because Hilo High has been named an official National Banner Unified Champion School. How's that? Your, uh, your school has worked hard to promote the message of unif uh, uh, unified and is being recognized on a national level. Three schools in the state, only one on the big island, and you guys are the school that did it. So congratulations, you guys. So I'd like to start the assembly today by recognizing a few honored guests that we have with us today. So please give a round of applause to our complex, actually, our, sorry, Representative Mr. Jenkins. Yeah, Area Representative Mr. Jenkins. Oh, there he is over there. Okay. Also, we have, uh, put your guys' hands together for your principal, Mr. Dirks. Right on. And also here today, we have East Hawaii's director, Ms. Janelle Stevens, Ms. J. <laughs> and Ms. Hoku Helianek. I believe Ms. Hoku is here, not here? Okay, not here. Athletic director and Special Olympics head of delegation from Pahoa. We're also honored to have Special Olympics State Unified Manager, Molly Brew, flew in from Oahu today. So Molly will be sharing a few words about the Unified Championship Champion Schools. Again, Molly Brew. Thank you. Thank you, Keala. Thank you, Hilo High, for having me here today. I'm honored to be here celebrating Hilo High's partnership with Special Olympics Hawaii. Special Olympics is a nonprofit organization that provides year-round sports training and competition to people with intellectual disabilities. Another part of our mission that you might not know is to advocate for the acceptance and inclusion of people with disabilities. Hilo High, right here at Hilo High, you have helped promote our mission for over eight years through many activities. Hopefully you've been able to participate in some of those awesome activities while you've been here at Hilo. Thank you so much to the students, teachers, staff, and administrators for your efforts to promote inclusion and respect for all, and that is no small feat. First, to recognize what you guys do here, I'd like to bring two students to talk about their experience with unified sports and unified activities. Please give a round of applause for James and McKenna. Come on, McKenna. Should we go like up close to it? Hi, my name is James Fonseca. Hi, my name is James Fonseca. I'm an Olympic athlete. Having a unified program at Hilo High School changed my life in a big way. At my other high school, I used to get into a lot of trouble for fighting. When I came to Hilo High School, everything changed. I started making friends, and I getting to know a lot of people because of pride. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> Project Unify. What, what, what? Okay, where am I? I feel I am a better person now. I know for sure I am way more happier. Hill High School is the best school on this island. Way to go, Vikes. Um, I'm a kennel, so although our athletes believe that we teach them, I believe that they are the ones that show me what true determination and dedication is. Special Olympics and Project Unify changed my life for the better. I gained lifelong friendships that I will cherish forever. I made a difference in my community and school. When I watched them train and prepare for meets and events, they never failed to amaze me and inspire me. They have instilled a passion in my heart. Thank you and congratulations. 
Right on. Good job, you guys. Good job. Awesome experience. I know you guys all have great experiences, but thank you guys for sharing your experience with us. It's my honor to congratulate Hilo High on achieving the status of Unified Champion School and meeting the 10 criteria set out to achieve this award and on believing in the importance of a more inclusive world for all. Your school is a place where empathy, compassion, and conclusion are the standard by which you live and learn. You've made your hallways, classrooms, playfields, and cafeterias places of inclusion, and you are the future. We have placed our hope in you that through your hard work, one day people with intellectual disabilities and their non-disabled peers will see each other as equals by their country, their families, and their communities. Thank you for leading the drive to a more inclusive world. Round of applause for all of you guys. Good job, uh, Vikings. Hilo High Vikings, good job. Now, at this time, we'd like to call up Hilo High School's Unified Representatives, James Fonseca and Maynard Ballesteros, to receive the national banner. This is the thing. This is the thing. You cannot see it right now. It's covered, but they're going to unveil it right now for you guys, along with Mr. Dirks, to receive a certificate on behalf of the school. There you go. All right, Mr. Dirks, if you come in the front, make sure you get to the, close to the banner, take a picture of you guys. Now, you guys, this is just not some banner they went made and made down the road at the store down the road. This is the only school on the island that has this banner and this certificate. So good job, you guys. Would also like to call up Remington and Darian up to receive your gift card for the school to spend on future unified needs. This is a $100 gift card to the school to spend on uh, whatever you guys feel. Hey, okay. Big picture now, big smile. Again, look. Good job, Darian. <laughs> right on, you guys. All right, one more round of applause, you guys. This is... Something that you guys worked for, something that you guys earned. So congratulations again. All right, we'd like to call up Mr. Jenkins now. He's going to say a few words for you. <laughs> Unbeknownst to him, but he's going to come in. <laughs> One more time, Air Representative Mr. Jenkins. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, on behalf of Kaz Bennett, I just wanted to say congratulations to you guys for all your hard work and your effort. Again, uh, it's awesome that you guys are uh, nationally unified champion school. That's an honor. So what I heard was um, they're one of three schools in the state. Wow, what an accomplishment. You guys, um, give yourselves a round of applause, man. That's amazing. And again, I just want to say thank you. Again, I am a former uh, Viking teacher. So again, I'm proud of you guys. So again, once a Viking, always a Viking, baby. Thank you. All right. We'd also like to finally, we'd like to introduce some of the clubs and organizations with the Unified Partners who are the leaders and driving forces behind the efforts in promoting awareness acceptance, and respect for all students at Hilo High School. All right, so we have our athletes sitting on the chairs. We have our unified partners standing behind them. Now, of course, as I read the groups, and, you know, we got to make sure we do this in time. So we, you guys can cheer, but we're going to... Try and keep the applause to a minimum until we get through all of the groups, okay? Everybody situated? Makoko? <laughs> all right, here we go. First of all, we have the Leo Club with advisor Mr. Sato. We also have Naliko Leho or Hilo Hanakahi with Kumu Avapui Duruwao. Yeah. We got the Japan Club with advisor Shihata Sensei. We have our Key Club with advisor Mrs. Masuhara. The Student Association Executive Officers and Leadership Team with Student Activity Coordinator Mrs. Masuhara. 
And we got the junior ROTC advise, uh, here with their advisors, the Lieutenant Commander Hafner and Sergeant First Class Taniguchi. All right, on. Now, the following classes have also partnered it with uh, special education classes to provide unified learning experiences as well. We got the uh, culinary classes with Mrs. Nakamura. That was one of my favorite classes, culinary. Health classes with Mrs. Christensen. And another one of my favorite classes, PE. PE classes with Mr. Masuyama and Ms. Naokana. <laughs> I thought somebody was tapping me on the shoulder. I was like, what? <laughs> right on. Again, big mahalo to everybody who uh, is working together to make this happen. Now, last but certainly not least, we are fortunate to have uh, joining us today our Hilo High School ladies basketball team alumni with Coach Ben Pana, <laughs> Alia Pana, Lexi Pana, the Pana Ohana, and Kylie Harris. Kylie Harris, thank you for making a special appearance to celebrate with us today. Now, the following student athletes participate in Unified Sports, which is a team compromise of special and general education students together. These students are dedicated and practice for 10 to 12 weeks and compete against other Unified schools from across the state. So basically, they get together, they practice, and they go and represent you guys' school and represent the Big Island as well. So please identify yourselves when your name is called. And if I say your name wrong, sorry, but... <laughs> Tiana Leao and Rosita Jemwai. Fiona Supan and Dalen Faust. Maynard Ballesteros and Mikey Benavides. Ocean Gabonia and Arth Sewell. Konopiliahi Hino Yosa and James Fonseca. <laughs> Kylie Kurokawa and Lenise Mejia Kaua. <laughs> Sione Lavimai and Pono Ani. <laughs> Who else we got? We got Sadie Bakdad and Kiana Supan. Makena Ahuna, along with Jeremy Badua. Oh, Badua. <laughs> David Newfer and Arnold Kahaunaele. <laughs> Remington Uimura and Logan Rese Kaili. <laughs> Avery Maderos and Kavika Victorino. And we have Glory Maderis and Darian Dukasin Wong. So again, thank you everyone. How about a big round of applause for everyone who has promoted inclusion, supported for special education students at Hilo High. All right, now's your chance. We're going to... Wrap it up, but before we do that, we got people taking pictures. So make sure you guys smile nice, big smile. If you guys get on sign, make sure the sign not blocking your face. Okay, now you're blocking my face. <laughs> That's all right, no problem there. You can block my face. <laughs> block my body, not my face. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Hilo High Vikings. If you guys talk story about this, make sure that you uh, let everybody know that this happened. This is something to be very proud of. So in closing, we'd like to leave you with our Special Olympics Athlete Oath. 
So I'd like to call up Aliyah and Lanise. They're going to do the athlete oath with you guys as we wrap up uh, this presentation. So Aliyah and Lanise, can you? Oh, they're coming? Right on. There you guys say, okay. Pick a microphone. Oh, <laughs> sneak up on me. You have a microphone right there if you like this out too. In closing, we'd like to leave you with our Special Olympics athlete oath. Repeat after me. Let me win. Let me win. But if I cannot win. But if I cannot win. Let me be brave in the attempt. Let me be brave in the attempt. Good job. All right, that wraps up this presentation. Again, there'll be people taking pictures for everyone. So if you guys are a part of the picture you're taking, please uh, hang out. If you guys are not, thank you guys for hanging out and uh, sharing this event with us here today. Mahalo again to everybody who came and who put this together uh, from wherever, different islands, all working together to make this an awesome event. So again, mahalo, you guys. Congratulations again, Hilo High School. And thank you. And take care, you guys. Ahui ho. Mahalo God bless. <laughs>